Okay, we're going to do this percent yield problem, page 88, number 15. Um, actually, in your book, it's not balanced, so we'll take that off. Uh, the question reads, 560 grams of ethene, C2H4, reacted with oxygen gas. 700 grams of the product were collected, calculate percent yield. As I just mentioned, the first thing you want to do is check your equation. It's not always going to be balanced, you want to check and make sure it is. Two carbons, two carbons, four hydrogen, four hydrogen, two oxygen, one oxygen, so it's not balanced. I need to balance it. Now my oxygens are balanced. Now my equation is balanced. Okay, so in percent yield questions, <coughs> you want to find um, the theoretical product or the theoretical yield that you're going to get, and then compare it to the actual yield you get. Okay, so we're going to start here with the amount of reactant. Ethene, I start with 560 grams of ethene, and I want to know first thing, how much product will I theoretically get if I start with 560 grams of ethene? So we actually solve this again, just like normal stoichiometry problem. We want to convert 560 into moles, so we can do stoichiometry. So the molar mass of ethene, C2H4, 2 times 12 is 4 times 1 is 28. So my number of moles of ethene is 560 over 28, which is 20 mole. Okay, so I start with 20 moles of the reactant. If I start with 20 moles of the reactant, how much product will I theoretically get? It's a stoichiometry, um, just like normal, just like the beginning of the term. So Moles of ethene reacted over the coefficient to equals moles of product also over two stoic. So the amount of product I should theoretically get is twenty moles. Now, I'm going to convert this number into grams because in the second part of the problem it says I actually got, this is called the actual, I actually got 700 grams. That's how, I, how much I actually collected. And I want to put, compare the theoretical to the actual, so they need to be in the same unit. So I need to convert this to grams. So let's find the molar mass of the product, C2H4O, it's the same as ethene but with an additional O, so 2 times 12. 4 times 1 plus 16, which is 44 grams per mole. Okay, so 20 mole equals the mass of C2H4O produced over 44. And that gives me 880 grams. Now, everything I've done so far is theoretical. Theoretically, if I start with this amount of reactant, using the proportions of stoichiometry, how much product should I get, theoretically? <clears throat> I should theoretically get 20 moles, which is 880 grams. These are theoretical numbers, okay? But because of a number of reasons that are explained in the book, my percent <clears throat> yield is going to be low, and the amount that I actually get is going to be less than the theoretical. Okay? In our class, it's always going to be less. So now I use the percent yield equation to find the percent yield that I got from this reaction. Okay? So I put 700 to the actual, and I put 880 for the theoretical. And this gives me 79.5454, I believe it's repeating, percent. I want to round that on the second digit, the 4, according to the third digit, which is a 5. So I'll round it up. 79.55%. Okay, what this means is, I expected theoretically to get 880 grams of product, given 560 grams of ethene. Expected 880, but I actually got 700. It's less. It should always be less. 
And so I got 79.55% yield of the theoretical product.